up, buddy Nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans. Thank you. Today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Oshinoko chapter 148. But before we get into this recap and live reaction, we are at war with YouTube's algorithm, and it is slowly but surely killing my channel. And in order to defeat this algorithmic beast, we need you to please hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And we ain't sponsored by Shueisha and we ain't sponsored by Manga Plus. And considering how much we promote Manga Plus on this channel, it's kind of surprising, right? <laughs> but if you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my adorable Will Bubba Kitty here, and um, this operation literally alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So, um, so... Last chapter of Oshinoko, we, um, uh, we saw Ruby have a, uh, one-to-one -one talk with, uh, with Papa. Uh, and I don't think she realized that was Papa. <laughs> um, and she revealed what her dream was. And, well, it was getting even more interesting, and then Akane split them up. But we're getting into a very fun chapter, it seems, so... Let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. And this chapter is titled End of Summer. Uh, the ocean! Ooh, we're at the beach. Whoa, it really feels like a private beach. That's right, it was used for a Gradier magazine photo shoot before. The symbol of vacation! We're finally free from that hellish schedule! She does look happy, does, uh, doesn't she? Well, she's the lead role, so it's only natural. Looking at the sea reminds me of my car! <laughs> Are you still traumatized? Why do I have to do things like a father would on Sunday? Oh my god, he has a hippie man! It's your fault for having a car like this despite being single. And yet being single. Oh my god, okay, I have to ask this. Like, who grew up, one, who has a hippie van? Or who, not just who has, who, whoever owned a hippie van? And who grew up, um, knowing someone, um whose parents had a hippie van, or like, um, or had a friend who owned a hippie van. I need to know. I need to know. I've had friends, um, whose parents had a hippie van. I've had, a, you know, I've been around people that, um, have had hippie vans. Um, I've been in, I used to have fun in hippie vans. Like, you know, party in hippie vans. Like, I just think it's funny that, like, we are, we have a hippie van in this manga. Like, what the fuck is a hippie van doing here? Having a big car is more convenient. Yes, it is very convenient for, for partying. Yes, it is. And for other things. I could carry my equipment and drive the staff, for, for, drive the staff around to do what, bro? Um, making a movie is a lot of work, you know? Yes, it is, and this is why you um you uh, uh smoke a blunt or two, or maybe get some shrooms every once in a while. Yeah, I never dreamed that uh, I'd actually use it to take a bunch of frats to the beach. Thank you, we really appreciate it. I can't believe we let you do this direction. Uh, do this director. Good grief, boys! Bring down the cooler. Next, pump up the swim rings in the boats. Don't forget the umbrellas and the sheets. Um. Well, he seems to be slipping into the father role quite quickly. You know, <laughs> you know what? Just thinking about it, yeah, there's quite a few, you know, rock, uh, like, um, when rock bands do start out, when they start out, they, they, uh, quite a few of them do use, use hippie bands too, that I think about it. Actually, he bought that car when he was hunting for a, he was hunting for a marriage partner. Why? Why did you use a hippie van? To hunt for a marriage partner, that's the worst thing you could do. He was dreaming of going camping with his with his wife and kids on the weekend. No, 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 no. You can go camping in a hippie van, but a hippie van is like a party van. You don't go camping with your wife and kids in a hippie van. No, you go camping with your with your with your bros, with your friends, and you go you go party. You go by the lake. You get high. You get drunk. Um, th that's what you do with the hippie van. You get blasted in it with a hippie van. And you go camping and get blasted. You don't go, you don't camp with your wife and kids in a hippie van. You nuts. Come on, man. 
How miserable. Is it okay for me to be here too? Sure, why not? I'm amazed to see everyone here, even though they're busy. Um, that's beca uh, uh, because we were able to wrap early, uh, wrap earlier. Um, we have until today as a backup, um, as a backup for shooting after all. Starting tomorrow, everyone will be busy again, huh? Nope, I'm taking two months off so I can slack all I want. What? Only those, uh, who can't interfere with their busy, uh, with their schedule are busy. So the power of talents can make such a difference. Dude, that background is everything. They're like, you bitch. <laughs> Let's swim, man, my baby. Here you go, have something to drink. Um, thanks. Well, that's it, huh? It really is a perk. Um, it's better not to say what you're thinking out loud. <laughs> For your information, she's your sister, more or less. I, have, I suddenly have mixed feelings about it. Um, we should uh, pay more attention to Frill uh, Shiranui's swimsuit than Ruby's. I didn't have much chance to interact with her on, on site, after all. The truth is, I'm a bit of her fan, so I was excited to be invited over. Oh, I suddenly have mixed feelings about it. <laughs> She's doing as she pleases. Oh, there, there's a, the Arima, the Arima fans are living. Oh, Aqua, help me apply some suntan oil, will you? Uh, will you? Um, skin is our capital as an entertainer. We must take good care of it in a place like this. So please apply it carefully in spots that I can't reach with my own hands. Oh, Ducky, I'll do it for you. Oh no! Uh, wait, I didn't ask you to. Whoa, miss, you're so stiff. Hey, uh, 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 this feels nice, I guess. You guys are such good friends. Uh, oh, oh, Connie, you bitch. Oh, they buried them in the sand. God, they're so stupid. Um, oh, they're having, oh, God, he's so cute with the crow. She's just chilling there with the crow in her, um, in her bathing suit. That's so cute. Aqua, can you're isolating yourself again? Akane. Oh, the Iconic fans are living. Um, do you feel awkward being with me? I do. Um, I do, but I have to watch you. There's no guarantee that you won't kill Hikaru and Kamiki at any time. You shouldn't do that, you know. If you do, neither you nor the people around you will be happy. Look, um, you'll make everyone here sad. Everyone you love, cherish, and try to protect. I believe there will be social sanctions against Kamiki through this movie. Ruby-chan should, should have had her revenge in the final play. Now it's your turn to be happy. I want to make you happy. That's my only wish from the beginning. I'll do whatever it takes for that purpose. Akane Kurakawa, I'm going to tell you this. I've always liked Aqua. So I know that he's happiest when he's with you. It's frustrating, but I really think so. No! You better get back together with him as soon as possible. I'm sure... No! No! I'm sure you can melt Aqua's heart. No! 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 Do not surrender! No, Arima! Do not surrender. She's... Arima, you're wrong on that, though. Hold on, let's go back. Let's go back up here. I don't think he's happiest with. I'm sorry, Akane fans. I'm sorry. I'm not. You know, I'm staying out of the shipping war, for the most part. I'm trying to, because Mem is my wifey. I love her, so I don't have a horse in this race. But if I but if I'm going based on the writing, I'm sorry, Akane Akane stands. He this is Arima is Arima. You're wrong on this. He's not happiest when he's with Akane. He's happiest when he's Aqua is happier with Arima than he is with Akane. What are you talking about, woman? But I, I gotta say this in regards to what Akane, is Akane right? Mm, probably. But the thing is though, I I feel like Akane is being a little pit. The thing is that I don't like what Akane is doing. As Akane is, Akane should mind her own fucking business for one thing. She, even though she is right, Aqua's got to 
figure it out for himself. He does. He, she cannot, like, because what she's doing, she's trying to be a therapist, which is really gross, at least in my opinion. But she, she can't do that. She's coming off. What she's trying to do is very patronizing. She is. Because what Aqua, Aqua will see it for himself. When the movie comes out and what ha and um and uh Kamiki um and and Kamiki's uh you know gets destroyed on social media, that's one thing, but at the same time, he, Kamiki not gonna give a shit about it. Let's be real. Let's be let's be real about this. Kamiki doesn't give a fuck. Kamiki already knows it. Kamiki already knows he's going to be destroyed on social media. Does he care about it? No. Kamiki don't give a fuck that he'll be destroyed on social media. Social media, yeah, it does affect the real world at times. Yeah, it does. It really can affect uh, the real world. Um, Best example of this. Look at what's happening um, with the LARPs right now. Um... I love when I get to talk about Riot Live PD. Look at what's happening with Columbia's LARPs. Um, because a lot of these fuckers are doing this for social media clout. And because of this uh, of um, all these fucks doing stupid shit for social media clout, guess what's happening? The, um, the kids at Columbia, they're not getting jobs. No, they are straight up not getting any jobs. The, the um, kids going to Columbia for, um, that are participating in these LARPs, that wanting um, that went to Columbia, you know, for law, they're not getting any jobs. They straight up said there's many law firms that have said they are not getting jobs out of Columbia. The same thing is going to happen with like George Washington University. All these Ivy League schools, they are not going to give these people jobs. They're, these people are not thinking about the consequences of their actions, of their stupidity. The internet is forever. Yes, the internet is forever. Sure. But in the case of Kamiki, he don't give a fuck about that. When you're an adult, you don't really give a fuck about it. At a certain point, you do not give a fuck. Kamiki doesn't give a fuck anymore. He doesn't. He want and Kamiki is a producer for fuck's sake. He could have shut this down at any point in time. He could have done it, but he's not for a reason. He isn't. And I have to wonder if it has something that he doesn't want to lie anymore. He doesn't, he wants the truth out there. Kamiki wants the truth out there. He wants the truth about how, um, how, uh, the, uh, um, the entertainment industry is. Because look at what we saw in this movie script. Look at what we saw in the movie script. We saw that, um, Kamiki was getting, uh, was getting, Frankly, getting molested. I know a lot of you men, um, men are like, where was that when I was, uh, I was a kid? Dude, he, you saw what this shit, what these bitches did to him. It, he was being like, fr he was being molested and uh, mentally, manip uh, psychologically manipulated for these bitches pleasure. It was horrible. These women were monsters. And seeing that side, because let's be real, um, what we've seen and what we've heard about the entertainment industry in terms of the casting couch, we've only, we've only heard, um, we've heard, obviously we've heard some stories from like the gay side, sure, but we've mainly heard stuff about how, um, actresses are getting taken advantage of by men. We've rarely heard stories about how, um, how men were getting taken, how little boys are getting taken advantage of by other women. It's a rare thing. So you have to wonder if Kamiki, the, one of the reasons why Kamiki wanted this movie to come out is because of that. He wanted his story to, to be, come out because of, of wanting, of, he wanted the world to see, like, I know that's probably, maybe it's just me, you know, putting, um, throwing my agenda out, or not my agenda, throwing my opinion out there, but I feel like he, part of him wants the world to see, um, and feel his pain, and 
I feel like the world is going to not only sympathize with I, but I feel like they're going to uh, sympathize with him. They might, will they turn on I? Maybe, but will they, I feel like what, um, what Akane says here about, um, there will be social san sanctions against Kamiki through this movie. I think she might be wrong. She might be right and wrong on this. She might be half right and half wrong on this. She might be right because you have the hardcore I fans. Yeah. But she might be wrong because of the bigger narrative about how Kamiki was abused by all these women. I feel, that's what I feel like. I feel like they're going to see him as the victim. At least in my opinion, I don't think he's going to be as socially sanctioned as Akane believes he will. I know a lot of fans are going to be, I know a lot of Oshinoko fans are probably thinking um, the same thing as Akane, but I don't think, uh, but I'm just thinking about the bigger picture and thinking about the bigger narrative. That's why when um, the Yoshinoko fans, quote unquote, were all pissy about like the um, Aqua Ruby kiss, I'm like, are you not seeing the bigger picture here? I mean, come on, there is a way bigger picture going on in terms of what happened with Kamiki throughout this whole thing, what led to all of this, at least in my opinion. I mean, look at what happened um, during the Me Too, Me Too mo uh, movement and the Believe All Women movement. It drives me nuts. Like, what, ha what about... What about the boys that are getting abused? I mean, look at what happened with the um, the quiet on set situation that that happened with the um, like with Drake Bell. He remained silent for so long, and then he finally came out and spoke out about what happened um, when uh, you know when he was younger and how he was sexually assaulted. Drake Bell's situation is actually kind of similar to what happened to uh, uh, Kamiki, and we saw Drake Bell had so uh did some really weird shit too now i think about it i mean it's a very interesting thought isn't it i'm just saying but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think do you guys think that there's gonna be as many social sanctions uh the the social sanction uh that Akane is right that there will be um, social sanctions, like, you know, so uh, social media is going to just destroy Kamiki like she thinks they are. Or do you think it's good, there's going to be a division? I think there's honestly going to be a division. I think there will. Obviously, um, people will be pissed that, you know, um, Kamiki killed I. Yeah. There are pe people are going to be mad about that. But when the context, when they know the full context of the situation leading up to it, I think it's going to cause a division. It, you're not going to, no matter what she says, you're not going to stop Aqua doing it, uh, from killing him. I don't, it's weird. I don't understand why Akane is thinking this. She filmed the fucking movie she knows the truth about the situation the full context of the situation why would she say this i'm so confused by that she's probably just saying i know she's probably saying it just to stop aqua but you just looking at aqua's face when she's saying this i think he knows that she's full of shit I know Aqua is, Aqua's gotta know that she's full of shit. He knows. He's gotta know. But, Arima fans, go back to you guys for a second here. Akane, he is not as happy as when he's with Akane. He's not. He's annoyed at her, if anything. Because she's trying to force, like, her views on him. Like, stop, woman, stop projecting your shit onto Aqua. 
Uh, Connie stands. You have to see what she's doing. I know you. I know the Connie shippers want her to get with Aqua, but the writing here is just dictating otherwise. I think it's been dictating, like dictating it since the beginning, that he's not gonna get with Akane. Do I see him getting with Arima? I still think Aqua's gonna die by the end of this manga. I don't think he's gonna get with anybody. But if we're gonna talk about shipping, I think he, um, and talk about who he's happiest with, I think he's happiest when he's with Arima out of, and if we're gonna include Ruby in the equation, I think he's happiest when he's, um, with Arima. I'm just saying. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Against Inc. Love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more um, Oshinoko content. A few ways you could do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. And until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.